Hey everyone, welcome back to Desert Fox Gaming. So today we are going to be opening up the Battle League Pikaram deck with the three tag teams, the two Pikachu and Zekroms, and then the one Alone Raichu slash Raichu tag team cards. So obviously now everyone is able to have a Pikaram deck um, on the well on the Pokemon Online. I've definitely been battling quite a few more Pikaram decks. Some I guess are played better than others. It seems like. Not everyone probably has like the exact right cards that are needed to make this deck work perfectly. Or they just brick and then it doesn't work anyway. But that can happen to anyone. But in this deck we have two Pikaroms, one Alo and Raichu, four of those wonderful Southern Wish Jirachis, which now everyone seems to be playing because they used to be like individually almost $10 a card, but now this box is $25, give or take. And now you have four. All right, and then we have one Zapdos, a Hoopa, Electros, Ipom, Tapu Koko, Prism Star, Professor's Research, Quick Ball, Malo and Lana, Poke Gear. I'm just gonna stop reading them out because we're gonna see these cards shortly. Oh, there's the reflection. Let's see, what is this? I haven't actually opened this yet. Ah, it's a little battle deck. So I didn't buy the Reshiram and, Reshiram and Charizard GX Battle Deck, Battle League Battle Deck box because I pretty much already have all of the cards in it. As in, like Arya. Hey. Sorry, cats are fighting, and they're still fighting. But I basically have more than a few of the Reshiram and Charizard GXs, so I would rather. have if I was gonna spend money, obviously I'm gonna rather spend it on something I don't have yet. All right, so let us see if we can go ahead and open this up. Wee! Ah, oh, I'm failing. There we go. So this comes obviously deck box. This has the cards in it. Still going out. Oh, it's not the fancy metal one. It's just the plastic. Lame. All right. So then we have more dice, and then we have our three tag teams. Let's just pop them out of there. Come on, other peek around. There we go. The three tag team Pokemon's. Here's a, one of the other code cards from the previous Hidden Fates videos. But, sorry guys, I want the Pikaram deck box code card too. Alright, let's just go ahead and open this box and take a look at these cards. I personally have never played a Pikaram deck, so I probably would be pretty bad at it too, my first couple go-arounds. I also don't have, like, Thunder Mountain, at least in person. I do have one online, so maybe I'll attempt to play it in a little bit. Alright, so here's the Tapu Koko Prism Star with the ability Dance of the Ancients. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may choose two of your bench Pokemon and attach an energy card from your discard pile to each of them. If you do, this card goes to the Lost Zone, which means you can never get it back. But it also is just pretty much a bench sitter, so I guess that's what it's for. Sorry guys, can't see the cards up here. All right, then we have the Mallow and Lana Tag Team Supporters. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. When you play this card, you may discard two other cards from your hand. If you do, heal 120 damage from the Pokemon you move to your bench. These are really irritating when you're doing damage and then all of a sudden it's like, whoops, no more damage left. Wow, that is really unfortunate. It's happened to me a few times, more than a few times actually. All right, then we have the Pokegear 3.0. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a supporter card you find there and put it into your hand, shuffle the other cards, into your deck. So we have two of those. We have one, I thought there was two Professor's Research. No, I guess there's just one Professor's Research. Um, obviously you probably want to maybe take out like the Poke Gear and just put in another Professor's Research itself. To get a little bit more draw power if you're breaking really hard. All right, then you have one Ordinary Rod, trying to recycle some of that electricity energy and also your Pokemon if it gets knocked out. We have a Quick Ball, try to get those big basics out. A Switch, 
the vitality band. Yep, there's your other professor's research. We have the energy switch. Move one basic energy from your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. We have the new Marnie, which is wonderful, except when you get Marnie to yourself and then you're like, no, my hand that I had set up. Especially in the first turn or two. We have another Poke Gear, another Switch, there's another Ordinary Ron Rod. I almost said Ron. We have an Air Balloon, Switch, the second Marnie, another Energy Switch, Poke Gear, Rotom Bike, the other, well, I guess there's three Professor's Research, short term memory loss here. We have one of the other code cards from the Hidden Fates. We have another Quick Ball, Vitality Bands, the Reset Stamp. Obviously the Reset Stamp is more effective if you're winning or no, if you're losing. But I guess if you have nothing else to do, then it is irritating. Alright, and then we have, there's the start of the Electricity Energy. You have the Electromagnetic Radar. You can only play this card if you discard two other cards from your hand. Search your deck for up to two in any combination Pokemon of Electric Pokemon GX and Electric Pokemon EX. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. The Pokemon Communicator. Reveal a Pokemon from your hand and put it into your deck. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. And then there is one of the wonderful Stellar Wish Jirachis. So it's almost like, I know it, it, that's the whole point of the Jirachi is to have the Stellar Wish for, able, for you to like look at your top five cards and then go back. But it's like if you retreat, switch, you can do this like probably multiple times and then it just seems like you should be only limited to one, once or twice, but so it goes. Put that up with the Pokemon, we have a Tag Switch. Electricity energy, the other electromagnetic wreck radar. Pokemon communicator, more electricity. We have Erica's hospitality. You can play this card only if you have four or fewer cards in your hands. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. We have another reset stamp. The electricity, there is the Hoopa. Never own, played, or seen this card. Evil Adam, Ad, 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 Admonition? I can't say that. It's giving. There is our another Jirachi. The Apom. With almost, it looks like a Cherubi and it's kidnapping. We have an Electros. With the ability Electric Swamp. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your hand and you have at least four Electric Energy in play, you may play this Pokemon onto your bench. If you do, move any number of electric energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. Electric energy, the other Pokemon communicator, the third Jirachi, the other Erica's hospitality, electromagnetic radar, tag switch, electric energy, Zapdos, and the last Jirachi. Jirachi kind of looks sad in this picture, or in this art style. But, so it goes. Alright guys, here is one last code card from the Hidden Fates. And that is the Pikaram Tag Team League Battle deck. We shall see if I, I don't know, maybe Andrew, Andrew also bought one of these decks, so maybe we'll have a, like a, a same deck match and see who can not break in the first couple hands and actually win. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you, what do you guys think of your own Pikaram, Zekar, Pikaram or Reshiram and Charizard decks. It'd be, I'd be interested, I would be interested, I can't speak, words are hard, I would be interested to know what you guys have set up yourselves. Alright, see you next time.